guys this this right here now we've had extreme activities for three nights in a row first night it smelled like pure gasoline got on the camera look at this guys i told you how it grows in over here it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> but there is so many things that comes with this oh my god so the first night gasoline we saw these huge, huge, oh God, look at those clouds. Huge, huge beans in the tree, okay? Look how these big, healthy um, branches are just breaking and falling. Because that's from them sitting up in there. These are huge birds. I'm talking about, oh my God, the tallest I've seen so far. Well, the wing expand was like six feet. Six feet. But the body from the head to the feet. I, I'm saying 10 feet, y'all. I feel like they were, it's been some that's taller than that. They were hunched over sitting on the branches, but we'll say 10 feet. The second night, it smelled like pure. That was last night. It smelled, what the fuck is that in this tree? Hold on, y'all. I know this ain't no spider web. The hell if it ain't. Oh my God. Y'all seeing this shit? What are those caterpillars? What are those, y'all? Oh no, we picked the berries. We picked the berries. I'm not picking berries anymore. No. What is that, y'all? And it, oh, I can't get too close. And it's something crawling inside. Those are caterpillars, right? Well, I feel like something on my leg now. <laughs> yes, we got berries. We got access to the berries. That's why we got so many damn ants now. Ants in your pants. But let me get back to this car video. Y'all was tripping. I'm looking like, y'all see that tent? I'm going to post the information. It's on my Amazon um, store uh, front. So I will post the link. That way you guys can save, get the discount. It's a beautiful tent. I love it. That's the biggest one. Let's get back to this video. I'm sorry. Y'all can tell ADHD all day. Well, ADD, should I say. But anywho, the second night, it smelled like just pure. It smelled like a Bigfoot. No, I ain't going to say a Bigfoot because Bigfoot smells like rotten flesh, I heard. This was like just fur. Like something, a big, huge animal. Just You could smell the fur. It was so strong. So that lets me know there was something up in the trees and you could smell it. I mean, when I say it was either this tree is sitting right there in the smack dead in the middle or up here, but it was so pitch black last night. We couldn't see anything. You could smell it. It was so strong, y'all. I ain't never. The only time I could compare something to like that is when I used to stay with my, my uncle <laughs> Damn it, my cigarette went out. My uncle, he had an old house. He had an older house. He was up in age. You know how some older people can be. They try to fix everything. So instead of hiring people to fix it for him, he would try to do it himself. And so he had these big ass holes in the wall. Hold on, y'all. He had these big holes in the wall, okay? Look at this wind. It's amazing today. Oh, it's fresh air, too. It smells like animal anymore. But he, he didn't hang the drywall, so there was these huge holes. And the the, the raccoons and the possums and stuff was coming up. <laughs> they were coming into the house, but not just in the house. They were in the walls, y'all. And it was winter time. And I'll never forget getting off work, coming home. I work second shift, so got home like 1 in the morning. And, you know, it's freezing cold, and you open up that door and step into that warm, toasty house. And, I mean, he had that heat crank, and I always had to open my window. It'd be like 180. Man, it smelled like a fur ball. The whole house. So, maybe y'all can't relate to that, and that's why I was trying to give y'all an example of what it smelled like out here. Y'all, I have never lived in an area that had smells and odors like this area does but let me tell y'all another thing because y'all know i've been documenting 
Y'all know I've been, so I'm a mastermind on this. I'm not just some lady in Ohio having ET encounters and seeing these interdimensional beings. Baby, I'm the right one for it. Not only do I have, I'm clear, clear audience, clairvoyant. Y'all, I'm a deep thinker and I'm a Pisces. So y'all, I've been researching, I've been documenting, I've been studying, I've been watching, paying attention, observing everything. This area floods. I noticed that. Every time it rains, we have ponds. Like, there's an open field. Let me walk over here, y'all. Look at this, y'all. No, 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 no. Something touched my car from the front and came all the way down to the back of it. Look at this. Well, y'all can't see it. Hell. <laughs> On the other side of that bush over there, it's nothing but a field. It's part of her house. The, the lady across the street. It's part of her house. And... It's just a big field, and it turns into a pond when it rains. And, oh, no, I got to watch where I'm going because it is so much, you guys. And and then, hold on. So when I uh, dug up the garden over here trying to plant some flowers and stuff, what have you, I uncovered these flat rocks, okay? Now, I am highly sensitive, so I understand, you know, it could be an old foundation. Look at that. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I gotta go. <laughs> Man, listen. I ain't never seen no tree grow face. Um, I can't, y'all. Not today. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Where to go? <laughs> I looked dead at that face. Hold on. It was like the perfect sunlight was smacking it. It's right. It's that tree in the middle, y'all. It's the tree in the middle. I told y'all that tree. That that's an old tree too. I don't think that's a new tree. It's not, listen, trees. Y'all know I started with the video on the car. Hopefully y'all made it this far. <laughs> Follow me, please. I ain't have my coffee yet. It's so much going on. It's so much going on, y'all. And it's not me and my mind or y'all they coming up in the house. They're coming up in the house. You know, I understand this whole ascension journey. I do. I believe it. I'm convinced. I don't need no one to talk to me. But it is just so much to, to, to wake up and realize that there are so many worlds all around you. They've been there this whole time. You just never noticed it. That shit is mind blowing, y'all. That's a lot. It's a lot, and 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 it's the beautiful thing that I am to that point of my ascension journey that I'm able to see it in that light. Cause some of y'all are seeing it, and y'all don't got that 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 deeper insight and that understanding. And I could see where this could weigh on someone's mental. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big time. To where you just out here paranoid, schizophrenic all day long. I'm being followed, damn it. They're following me. They're coming after me. I see them. I see them. They're following me. These, and I'm not making fun of y'all. I just like to demonstrate. that. That's and, and, and when I see people like that, let me tell y'all, I get in that energy field real quick. I get in it real quick because I do believe in mental illness. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I do believe a person can get to a place in their mind where it just it's not it's not logical it's not safe it's not you know the far corners of the they say the far corners of the mind like seriously and, and it develops into something more than what it needs to be um and that comes from fear it comes from the 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 fear of the unknown you know and so it's, it's a beautiful thing um, that this I went through this because I've already had that connection with the spirit realm. I already had that connection with some of my spirit guides. So the familiar ones came. Oh, you better believe they had to show up for me because I didn't know what this was and what is happening and why, you know. <clears throat> but yes, it is. It's just different worlds around us. And it. And we're, we're blending at this point. We're blending. And it is blending, you guys. It is definitely blending. Um, 
but it's so much. It's so much. And and these big birds that I was talking about earlier, they flying in. They're not from here. Don't let nobody tell you that they are, because they're not. Their heads glow. Their heads glow, y'all. Any being creature that glows came from a dark place, period. And I'm not talking about... <clears throat> It's going to rain, y'all. Look at that. Not a dark place as in, you know, like a negative place. I'm talking about if you were to go to the bottom of the ocean, the floor of the ocean, everything down there glows. Everything has a light. You get what I'm saying? You adapt to your environment. You, if you're if you're a cre created from that environment, you're going to, you feel me? Y'all, it's so... I got to get off of here because <laughs> it's so vivid. The colors. Y'all know I'm 5D. It's, it's, it'd be rough on me sometimes. I just be like, oh, Lord, I can't handle it today. <laughs> it's so vibrant. But I am seeing a lot of them. Um, them tree spirits and stuff. And, and every tree houses a creature. Every tree houses creatures. Please know that. All right, y'all. Peace. Love you.